Hello and welcome back to some more Famicom Tactic for the Missing Air, where last time, boy howdy, was that an episode. So, the most noteworthy thing is that we solved the, well, okay, we didn't solve the whole mystery, we still got some loose ends to tie up, but we did determine the murder method for every member of the ISU family until this point, and it's actually really clever. So, basically, the long and short of it is, they use a cyanide mixture that requires heat in order to actually turn into a poisonous substance, uh, which was created because every single member of this family is an obsessive smoker, so the heat from the pipes is what ignited the poison and caused him to die. Very, very clever game. That, that was that's very, very clever. See, it's it's kind of what I miss about reading Agatha Christie's uh, books because it was a summer. It was summer summer of 2017, in anticipation of the Murder on the Orient Express movie that's coming out that November. Uh, I just decided, you know what, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I'm just going to sit down and marathon all of Agatha Christie's Poirot novels. Uh, and, you know, every now and again there was one or two that didn't kind of, that didn't quite hit the mark. But by and large, like, 98% of her of her novels were phenomenal. And, like, this is kind of what I missed was that 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 feeling of discovery uh, when it all comes together. It's just, ah, I, I love mystery so much. Um, but also, we found Akira dead in Kiku's grave, for some reason. We also found the, the, the cyanide mixture in his pocket, meaning that he wasn't the one, like, he, yes, he's the one who, who, who actually did it, but he was the, he was a tool, he, he was an instrument, he wasn't, he's not the mastermind. So someone else is pulling the strings, and I still say that it's probably Amachi, but I guess we'll find out later. Uh, oh, and also, Akira's the, uh, we just magically remembered that Akira's the one who actually attacked us and tried to kill us off the, uh, by pushing us off the cliff. But it also begs the question of why did why did he try to push us off into the grass and not just you know into the ocean where we would have definitively died? But uh, remains. I mean, I still say that he should have died anyway, considering how f how far of a fall that is. But you know, it, we, we'll 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 see how this turns out. Anyway, um, if Akira really tried to kill you, then why didn't he just throw you into the sea? Also, I don't know why we're on this zoom in like extreme zoom camera angle, but whatever. Ayumi's right, throw me into the sea rather than the grassy area would have been a surer way to kill me. So why didn't he do it? Uh, hello, snap out of it. Huh? Yeah, like this this super close-up camera angle when previously we were, um... Like, the other camera angle almost seemed like we were too far away from each other, but then this one's like, we're way too close. So yes, the game doesn't quite know how to find a middle ground. Where'd you mind wander off to? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking that you had a point. But more importantly, I should focus on the case. You're off to find proof that the lawyer Kanda is- Oh, right, also we found uh, that Kanda, um, there was a previous murder case, uh, where Kanda used the same murder method. So, uh, or, like, Kanda was involved with a case where the, the, same, murder the same murder method was used. So, uh, I think we might be on to something here. But the only way to find out for sure... Uh, should we go straight here? Should we go to the, let's go to the rest? Let's check out the residence first before we stop by the condo law firm. See if we can see if we, see if we can find any any last minute details before we go make our final confrontation. Uh, see if we can uh, ferret out any useful information. Hello, Zenzu. How's life? Oh, oh, so magic. Hello. I don't know why we can never just talk in the, in the entry. Uh, I heard everything from the police. So Akira is also, it's just so unfortunate. This is unbelievable. First, Sir Akira killed Mistress Kiku and then he was killed by someone else. Please, just don't let them all have died in vain, sir. Of course not. Thank you. It'll be okay, Mr. Zenzu. I'll get to the bottom of it. Because, like, here's the thing. From strictly a narrative perspective, what is the point of Amachi in this game if not to ultimately tie into the mystery? Um, especially because no one's suspecting him. It's got to be him. But even if we just talk about, like, w within the characters in this universe, does it not seem odd to you that Ma that Amachi just so happened to be strolling along the sea, or, like, the beach that no one ever visits for any reason? Uh, and then magically he's like, he's like, oh, you're awake. Oh, uh, but you don't remember anything. Hmm, how interesting. How intriguing. So I think it's going to be revealed that he is the man who masterminds the game. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I know you have a lot of work to do, but I wanted to give you some good news. Sir Kanda called earlier and said that he found Lady Yuri's child. Oh, well. Just as I thought, Mr. Kiku hired him to find Lady Yuri and he succeeded. Mr. Zenzu about Kanda, it seems like that he's the culprit behind everything. What? Impossible, I don't believe it. I don't believe it either, but we're gonna check it out anyway. 
Um, just to see. Alright, well, I guess what we should tell him about what we found out. Uh, I just cannot believe that Sarkanda's the murderer. He told you that he found Yuri's child, correct? The symbol of the, su the, symbol of the successor that Miss Kiko had presumably given to Yuri. The one who holds it as the true master of the family. As the will states, all the rights will be theirs. If the symbol of the successor had been passed down to Yuri's son, Kanda can make himself his legal guardian now that Kanji and Jiru are dead and have total control over the company. What? Would Sukana really do something like this? I think Sukana did hear a lot about Lady Yuri from Mistress Kiku. He may have known what the symbol of the successor was. However, I could never imagine Sukana taking advantage of Lady Yuri's child like that. Uh, anything else? Would Sukana really do such a dreadful thing? Okay, that's none, there's nothing else to learn about there. Um, but since this is also relevant, let's bring up the, th the thing about the tobacco case. Akane had it. That reminds me, I wonder what Akane's doing right now. I hope she's feeling better. Oh, right, we also got to reveal that apparently Akane feels guilty for killing Kiku because she wouldn't tell her to stop smoking. Um, which, I mean, like, honestly, I kind of had a panic attack because I'm like, wait, are we, are we really doing the reveal right now? Like, this is a bit of an abrupt reveal. But then I, I thought about it more, I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be a thing like, she feels responsible for her death, but she didn't physically kill her. Um, so, yeah, that's how, that's, how that, that's how that wound out. Speaking of Akane, uh, can we get her in here? Maybe? Oh, here she is. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. I want to repay my sins by being useful to the Aishu family. I, you, you, you don't need to carry this weight around. You did, uh, okay, well, I guess maybe we can bring it up to try to ease your pain a little bit. Where, where's the hidden tobacco case? Oh, it's in my room. I'll go get it. Okay. Do we just play the waiting game? Oh, no. She's back. This is the tobacco case. That's a very elaborate tobacco case. Let's take a look. I mean, not that I make a habit of looking at them, but that, that I didn't expect it to be that elaborate. To, like, I, I thought it'd be a lot simpler and more clean-cut than that. It looks, that looks like a freaking puzzle box. Uh, but let's take a look at it and see what we have to uncover. Oh, the drawer of the tobacco case fell out. Are you not going to look at it any further? Oh, no! With the drawer no now removed, I tried to pick up the tobacco case, but it slipped and fell out of my hands. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I hope I didn't break it. Huh? Where did this piece of paper come from? It fell out of the, the tobacco case when you dropped it. Hmm? Well then, can we take a look at it? Don't mind if I do. The, the horse proceeds, the rabbit proceeds. Oh, okay, instructions for the hand mirror. Guessing that's what this is, right? Zenzu, Akane, do you have any, do you have any idea what this is? How do you... It, it's, the, it's the hand mirror. It's the four animals in the hand mirror. Hmm, I don't know either. Was this something Mistress Kiku kept secretly? It's, it's probably instructions for how to use the hand mirror, if, somehow. Uh, can we, do we have the, how do we, do, we, uh, do I have to remember? Maybe? These animals mentioned on the paper, I feel like I've seen them somewhere before. Yes, you have. Do we have the, do, how do we, do we have the hand mirror? Can we look at the, aha, look at the hand mirror, here we go. Uh. It, you know, it kind of looks like a, well, I mean... The orientation, as in, like, the structure of the walls, kind of looks like a maze, but it's a maze with no exit, so I don't know how this is gonna... Hmm. The animals mentioned on the paper are engraved here, but what does it all mean? I don't know. I, well, I'm... I, it it kind of looks like a maze, but also kind of not, so I guess I get, I get that that's a useless thing to say. It's like, kind of looks like this, but also kind of not, but I don't know. I'm just, just trying to be transparent with my thought process. Um, but maybe she knows something more about this? This tobacco case is pretty old. Mr. Zenju says this tobacco case reminds him of the late master and his other memories in his past. Okay, um, do I need to show her the mirror to get more information out of her? So it's the same animals as on the paper. Maybe the mistress knew something. That didn't guess anywhere. Okay, does Zenzu know anything about it? Let's try to find out if Zenzu knows anything about it. Did you need anything? Uh, yeah, do you happen to know anything about what the deal is with this case or perhaps the hand mirror? As a kindness aside, whenever I see the tobacco case, my mind floods with memories. Oh! What? I just remember the name of the family who died by suicide. The ones affected by the master's business. The family name was Kanda- Oh! Oh, was it now? You know, that would have been really useful information to have, Zenzu. That would have been really useful information to have. Okay, well, now I think we can safely go to the law firm. I think we have what we need. I think we have what we need to go make our confrontation. I still, I still stand by the idea that Amati's gonna be the one pulling the strings. But also, that would have been useful information, Butler. Hi, I'm Trevor from Utsuki Detective Agency. Oh, you came before. That's right, is Mr. Kanda in? 
No, he's away on business. Please come in, though. I can take a message for him. Oh, I don't think this is one message you're going to want to take for him, but, you know. Uh, okay. So, now that, now that we're here, can I use the remember function to actually access that file? Huh, what do you mean by that? Well... Excuse me? My boss a murderer? What nonsense! Well, Mr. Kanda had a motive. According to the butler of the Aishira family... Where's the proof? There are plenty of lawyers out there with the name Kanda. That may be true, but please, can you just hear me out? And also, you're, the one you're talking about it has direct correlation to the Aishira family. It's too much of a coincidence to overlook. Just as she says, it's a chance I have the wrong person. I need to investigate the kind of family that died by suicide. The person to ask would be Genshin. I'm sure he knows something. Okay, well then let's go talk to the judge. See if he can, see if we can get any information out of him. I guess I probably should have come here first, but, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. We, we, we made it here eventually. Took us some time, but we got here. Hello. I, I shouldn't be here long. I should only have just one question to ask you. They still haven't found Miss Kiku's body. Please find the culprit. What a horrible thing to do. Mr. Genshin, you've heard the name Kanda, haven't you? Well, he's the prime suspect in the murder investigation. You will tell me what you know, won't you? I would hope so. Yeah, there's only one thing that we need to ask him. I see, so it was all his doing. You're right. The man whose parents died by suicide because of Mr. Kiku's husband is Irish Rule Corporation's lawyer. It's, it's, uh, Kayonosuke Kanda. I'm sure of it. Ah. Miss Kiku knew that Kanda was the son of the couple, but even then, she decided to hire him as her legal advisor. She wanted to atone for her husband's sins. Miss Kiku told me herself. I don't know if making Kanda my legal advisor is the right decision. But whatever the outcome, it's my responsibility to decide. The fate of the families rests in my hands. Supposedly, Kanda did a good job, and Miss Kiku was satisfied with his work. I don't think she even fathomed that Kanda was capable of doing such horrific things. I'm sure Yuri knew of the Kanda family, too. Maybe that's why she decided to leave the mansion. Apparently, Yuri could not tolerate the way her family ran business, but in the world of business, it's either eat or be eaten. Who can really blame the Yashiras for what they've done? Thanks for sharing that with me. As Miss Kiku said, I guess this was the Irish Yashira family's fate, however. <sighs> okay, well, how about now? Do we have enough proof for you now? And I still... Trevor, don't let Kanda get away with this. At this rate, he won't be saved. I, I still don't... I don't buy this. Like, yeah, it, it, it looks like it's him. But what would be the point of Amachi? I'm just like, what's the deal with the shirt? There's the shirt and Amachi. Ah, I have questions. I have questions. Why don't you just back off? You have the wrong person. I obviously don't. I spoke to someone who knows Mr. Kanda. And just as I thought Mr. Kanda is... Please, just hear me out. You really are persistent, aren't you? Well, being persistent is part of being a good detective. And now you're trying to act cool. Fine. Come in. Do your silly little job where you solve mysteries or whatever. Okay. Hello again. I will give you one last chance, but I can assure you that my boss is not involved in this case. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Well, let's uh, talk about the file that you refused to show me. May I see the file that Mr. Conner was reading? I can't just show it to anyone. It's worth confidential. It's literally the only chance. It, you ask for, you, you're asking for proof. Well, I can give it to you. We can't showcase files to anyone. Doesn't don't be like that, please. I said no. I don't care. You're begging. You you can't beg for proof. And then when I tell you where the proof is, you're like, uh, nah. Yeah, you can't see it. I really need to. No man. No means no. I don't care. It's the I, this file is the only chance we have of proving that he's involved. I'm asking you nicely, and I have answered you. Okay. Well, do I have to show? <laughs> Show kindness. I don't want to trouble someone who seems as lovely as you. Really? Really? It's that easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. That would have been. Wow. I, I would not have bought that even for a second. If, if she actually. If she would act would have actually been like. Oh, well, in that case. Like, if, if all, we, all we need to say was for me to say, you look lovely today, and she'd be like, oh, really? Well, in that case, I'll give you the file. Like, damn, I, no, I didn't buy that even for a second. But thankfully, phew, that was a close one. Uh, okay, but, then, but well, actually, how do we get this file? I, just, just give me the file, please. Why are you being so unreasonable? Why did you call me? You better skedaddle or whatever. Cut all this out, or I'll call the cops. You, you be my guest, but they're just gonna tell me, like, that. I, I can get a warrant out for it. Like, it... Well, the choices are either we can do this peacefully here, or I can get a warrant to actually uh, search the document, because I, it, it's pivotal to the case. That's it. You just wait right here. I'm calling them for real. Uh-huh. You have fun with that. 
Hello, police? There's a crazy person in the office. This is exactly him. He won't leave. Huh? Okay, oh fine. Yes, I can do that. Thank you. Did I tell you to give over the file? The police told me to fully cooperate with you. Yeah, gee. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder who could have seen this coming. Get owned by your own backup. This this is like I don't know if you saw on Twitter, but there was there was someone, um, uh, s some idiot was like, Oh, you, a, a grown adult plays with Legos? <laughs> what an insecure, immature child. And then, and then he added someone like, Get a load of this, am I right? And then the person he added was like, You fucking low-life piece of shit. People, if, if, if people want to play with Legos as a hobby, Who cares? It's not hurting anyone. It's a fun thing to do. Why do you give a shit? Like, he, he called in backup to be like, get a load of this shit, right? And then the person he called, she was like, you, you're just such a loser, what are you talking about? It's like, great job, Reiko. The backup you called screwed you over in the process. Can, can we get a round of applause for Reiko? Oh, good God. 200 IQ plays, good Christ almighty. Well, that was an ordeal. Okay, finally we can examine the file. Okay, good Lord almighty. I knew it. It's a life insurance incident that Kumada was talking about. He men it mentions the modus operandi. I'm sure of it. Oh, maybe Kondo brought Yuri's child here. I'll ask her. Excuse me. What do you want? Has Mr. Kondo ever brought a boy of about 17 or 18 here? Yeah, he used to bring a boy like you. He was very polite. Unlike someone. What? I, I said please and... Uh, whatever. Okay, fine. We're done. We're moving on to the cliff top. Okay. Thanks for everything and I'm sorry. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, well, I mean, we, we, we tried. We gave it a shot. Going to the clifftop? I suppose. I don't know why, but we're, we're here. Okay. Oh, the sun is about to set. Maybe I should call it a day. Why are we... Oh, do, do we have to try to remember again? All right, let's try to remember. Uh, why didn't Akira throw me into the sea? He came at me like he wanted to kill me. I should ask Amachi about that evening. Oh, here we go. Now it's, gonna, now it's time to tie this all in to, uh, to, to Amachi, huh? Here we go. Here's our final battle against Amachi. Amachi's apartment. Here's... We're in the endgame now. I forgot Amachi's out of town for a little while. Oh, I thought he'd be back by now, but... Okay. Do I have to... So this is a worthless trip. Do I have to go back to the clifftop? Okay. Well. The sun said maybe I'll go back for the day. I mean... Okay, the, am I stop where what, what, what am I missing? Do I have to remember again? I think it was around this time when Akira attacked me. It's getting darker. Yes, it is. Oh, what the hell? I thought I saw something glinting. Uh, what is that supposed to be? Front of the what is this? A button. Is this gonna tie into the freaking shirt? Is this gonna be the thing with this with the short sleeve shirt or whatever? Because it's is it gonna be a button for a shirt? I swear to God. If that's what if that's what this is going. Oh my god. Oh, no, don't no don't take what? Just take the button. Take the button. Take the button. I should keep it just in case. Oh my god, if this if this button and the shirt are the linchpin of this case, I swear to god. Oh, good lord almighty, please. Please let that be the case, okay? So, the only place we can go is Amachi's apartment. Why is the only place we can go Amachi's apartment? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not even in. That's right, Amachi's in here right now. I wonder when he'll return. Oh, uh, excuse me, do you know Mr. Amachi? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I'm so glad. You see, I was in a bit of a bind. Uh, what would that bind be? You're in a bind with Mr. Amachi? Well, yes. One of the garments I cleaned for Mr. Amachi was delayed. I was finally able to bring it back, but he's not here. Oh, would it happen to be my shirt? Would, would it happen to be the shirt that he freaking... Mr. Amachi brought that to you? I think that's actually mine. Oh, it's yours, and would you take it for me? Please, please be the button. Please tie into the button, I swear. Please, oh please. All right, is there anything else you know before I leave you behind? Ah, you're a lifesaver. So what happened? Did you fall in the ocean or something? Those clothes were drenched in seawater. They were drenched in seawater. They were drenched in seawater. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, there you have it. We appreciate your business. Wait a minute here. We're getting somewhere. Let's go seawater. What's going on? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is what we're going to tighten into Amachi. I'm waiting for this. This is the first episode. This is the first episode. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Amachi's kind of a creep. 
I think something's going on here. So you were accidentally under the water? Yeah, I bumped into a cleaning employee delivering clothes that looked like mine in front of Mr. Machi's apartment. He told me that the clothes that Mr. Machi dropped off were drenched in seawater. I thought he found me on the grass. Maybe someone saved you from the sea and carried you to the grassy area, but I don't know why they do that. And then Mr. Amachi found you. Yeah, Mr. Amachi found you. Mr. Amachi found you. Okay, and do we have to speculate now? Oh, no. No, 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 but I want to tie it together. Kanda wanted to avenge his parents' death, so he plotted to take over Irish Corporation. As a legal advisor, Kanda knows everything about the company. He even managed to track down Yuri's son. If he can gain control of someone who has a lot of influence with the Irish Corporation, then the whole company will be in his hands. But Yuri's son is about our age, right? He might follow Kana's orders as long as he's unaware of what's happening, but that won't last for long, right? Sure, Yuri's son has been missing since he ran away, but as long as Kana has the symbol of the successor, he doesn't need that. He doesn't need the real successor. Maybe he killed the kid already and got a hold of the double, and that and that would do as he pleases. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. Then the boy was he was bringing over to his office every now and then might not be re Yuri's real child. It's a, I mean, that might, might be a bit of a leap in logic. I don't know if I'd go that far. It's a scary thought, but we can't ignore the possibility, considering how many people Kana's already murdered. Okay, so, you know, I have these things, um, I wonder if this is actually my shirt. Yeah, that's it, you always wear that short shirt. Oh, but you're missing a button! Hmm, are we now? Are we now? Oh, you think this is it? It's the same button, hold on, let me put it on for you. We're really gonna wait for her to put it on the damn button. Really? We're just gonna stare. We're just gonna stare at the, stare at the background. Okay. Done. Here. Why don't you change? Maybe I will. Hey, I didn't mean to change right here. Oh, sorry. It, I didn't know you had a burn mark there. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, we have a what now? You can't see it like that. Go take a look in the mirror. We have a what now? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know I had a burn mark here. How could you possibly not have? Did you- have you not showered at any point in the past few days? How could you possibly not know that you had that? This isn't something recently like I've had it for a long time. How could you possibly not know that you had this? Have you not showered at all in the past few days? I feel like I can remember something, but wait, no. My head feels like it's gonna explode, maybe I... What's wrong, Trevor? That's right, I have to go see Miss Motoko one more time. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> How did I not see that? <laughs> How did I not see that? Oh my god! How did I not see that before? It makes so much sense! It makes so much sense! How did I not connect the dots before? I did not! How did I not see that? Oh my god, that's amazing! He's... He's the... Ah! Oh my god, that's amazing! He, he's, he's the missing... He's the missing kid! He, he, cause he, that's why he has the burn mark, cause the house burned down. And he's the same, he's the same age as him. And he's been trying to find his parents and he can't remember anything. Oh my god. Holy hell. I am gobsmacked by that. We're on the verge of it. We're on the verge of, of, of tying it all together. We're, we're, we're in the end game now. Okay. That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, stay tuned for next time. Catch you all tomorrow for some, for what might I, I hesitant I'm hesitant to say that it will be. It might be the finale of Phantom Hunter Called the Missing Air. Goodbye.